Some of us may still be enjoying Thanksgiving leftovers in the fridge. Well, the annual feast leaves both our guests and our garbage cans full. According to one estimate, Americans tossed out 316 million pounds of food on Thanksgiving. And all of that waste will release 5,000 metric tons of methane as it decomposes in landfills, the equivalent to what it takes to power 26,000 homes for a year. But there is an alternative, composting. Manuel Bajorquez got his hands dirty to see how it works. There's a lot of activity at the Fertile Earth Worm Farm south of Miami. On this day, a delivery of food scraps from several South Florida kitchens. Peppers and bananas past their prime, but perfect for composting. That's the human activity, at least. The unseen work happens over at their partners, Lion Fruit Farms. What do we have in front of us here? Well, you'll see a lot of worms here. So we're very blessed to have a lot of worms, and these are all red wiggler worms. Peter Fideli has close to one million of them, which have nothing else to do but eat decomposing organic matter, make baby worms, and also castings, a fancy name for poop. And what we do is we take the worm casting to another level, and back there you'll see our brewers, and we'll create a vermicompost tea. And that tea will run it through our irrigation system, which is called fertigation. We actually fertilize the entire farm. And the food that would have ended up in a landfill ends up keeping this cycle going. That's important because food is the largest category of material in municipal landfills, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. In 2022, the heat trapping methane gas emitted by rotting food was equivalent to the greenhouse gas emissions for 24 million gasoline powered cars driven for one year. Back at Fertile Earth Worm Farm, Dr. Lynette Sobel is known as Miami's queen of composting. She and her staff process 2,500 tons of organic food matter a year. We do a bunch of restaurants like Pura Vida, Chipotle, Starbucks. We work with food distributors, um, hospitals. And so we collect their food scraps and then we bring it here and we turn it into soil. Since compost piles can still release methane gas if not done right, there is a science she painstakingly follows to prevent that. What she's also trying to do here is educate the younger generation. Like we can't keep doing business as usual. Like I have a kid and my hopefully my kid will have kids. And it's like what we do now affects them. So shouldn't we wake up and like think about what we're doing and maybe try and do things better? The city of Plano, Texas is also trying to do things better. It has a composting program for both food and yard waste. For a one time fee, residents can join and deliver scraps to collection sites around the city. Their landfill, shared with several cities in the region, accepts over 1 million tons of waste each year and composts about 50,000 tons each year. That nutrient-rich compost can then be sold back to residents. Since the program started, it's a little less than a year and a half, we've collected over 125,000 pounds of food scraps. Nicole Warhoftig is Plano's Sustainability and Environmental Education Manager. So this is what it eventually will turn into? Yes. And people can use that for what? They Fertilizer? Can they can use it to put in their garden. Basically when the food scraps um, break down, it's, it's like feeding your plants food, essentially. The question now is, will more cities and residents do the same? Will more farmers turn to what Dr. Sobel is doing to keep food out of landfills? Or what Peter Fideli is doing with those hungry red wiggler worms? Worms will eat their weight every day. Wow. Yeah. And I love my worms because they work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they never complain. <laughs> Best employees I've ever had. For CBS Saturday Morning, Manuel Bajorquez, Miami.